In this video, I will show you how to compare columns, ranges, and Excel worksheets with each other. I will start with the view options suitable for this kind of comparison and then discuss the best method to compare. Let's begin. You can create a clone of the workbook you are working on. Click on the new window command under the view tab to create a clone. This is very useful. You can work on different sheets at the same time. Any change done to one of the workbooks will immediately be synchronized with the cloned workbook. Once you clone your workbook, click on the side-by-side -side command. This way you will see both workbooks side-by-side. -side. It is much easier to compare data this way. The synchronous scrolling command should be automatically activated. If not, click on it to activate. This way you will scroll both documents up and down at the same time. This is great to compare the ranges line by line. With the Arrange All option, you can arrange your workbooks or worksheets horizontally or vertically, whichever option you prefer. If you decide to arrange the sheets horizontally, I recommend hiding the ribbon. Double click on any of the main tabs to hide the ribbon, or click on the upward pointing arrow. Double click again to show the ribbon. The first and easiest option to highlight differences is conditional formatting. We will use a new rule to highlight the differences between both sections. So select your data, go to conditional formatting, new rule. Type in the formula. The logic of the formula here is the following. If the first cell of the first table, which is B2 in this case, is bigger or smaller than B2, the first cell of the second table, then a format should be applied to highlight the differences. Since I want conditional formatting to go through each and every cell in the table, I will remove the dollar sign before the row and column references by clicking F4 three times, making both columns and rows relative. This means each and every cell in my selection will be proofed and compared to the same cell cell position in the other table. Choose the format you want, press OK when you finish. Since both tables are currently identical, no formatting is applied. I will change some data to test. As you can see, the different cells are highlighted. Combined with a side-by-side -side view and synchronous scrolling, you have the best settings to manage the difference in the data. If your data for some reason is sorted differently in one of the tables, make sure to sort both tables before comparing them. Select the upper row of your data, press Ctrl plus Shift plus L to apply a filter. Sort by date, numbers or alphabetically, whichever option applies and you prefer. Then you can apply the if function or the conditional formatting. You can always apply the Highlight Changes feature to a workbook. This way any change made by someone else or yourself will be highlighted and listed accordingly, giving you full control over the changes. Check my video on tracking changes in the description below. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new and found what you were looking for. Thanks for watching.